It seems like forever there has been a debate in the bodybuilding world over what builds more muscle, using heavy weights with low repetitions or lighter weight with higher repetitions. To understand the answer, we must first look at how and why muscle is built. Most people in the bodybuilding world know the principle of progressive overload. That is, to keep trying to increase the weight you can lift whenever possible. This works because the body is always in self-preservation mode. When a person does a set of repetitions with a weight which is heavier than what the muscle is used to moving, micro damage will occur in the muscle. This is a small breakdown in the muscle fibers which causes what is called delayed onset muscle soreness. That is, getting sore for a couple days after lifting weights. The body tries to protect itself from having this micro damage occur again. So it builds back the slightly damaged area with slightly more muscle fiber tissue than there was prior to the exercise. One of the fastest ways to make progress with how heavy of a weight you can lift is to use lower rep ranges with higher weight loads. This equals intensity. However, it is not the only way muscle repair can be stimulated. Metabolic stress and or time under tension techniques can also stimulate muscle growth. Using higher repetitions per set while obviously using lighter weight can accomplish these other ways of building muscle. In fact, some muscles actually respond better to this type of lifting because anatomically, that is their normal function. For example, the lateral part of the deltoids, or shoulder muscles, move with every step you take and with almost any upper body movement you normally have in any given day. But they generally aren't called upon to carry a heavy load at the same time. Because of this, the shoulder muscle fibers are more responsive to lighter weight and higher repetition ranges, or volume work. One other major factor to consider, and in this discussion, the number one factor, is the body's amazing ability to adapt. If you constantly are doing high volume work, the body will get used to it, so to speak. And the muscle breakdown that we all want will slow. And muscle size increases will also slow or even come to a halt something we definitely want to avoid. The same applies for constantly working muscles with intensity training or using lower repetitions and higher weight loads. After some time of doing intensity all the time, you will stop progressing and again, your gains will cease or dramatically slow. Because we always want the body to have the problem of adapting to our workouts so that more fibers are created causing growth, it is best to incorporate both volume and intensity work for each muscle group. How often we should switch between volume and intensity work is a subject for another video. But the bottom line is, don't let anyone tell you that volume is better or that intensity is better at building muscle. They both are absolutely essential for long-term growth, success, and continued progress towards achieving your desired goals.